everybody. This is uh, a real honor to be here today, and how exciting. Uh, I've had a chance to preview, and you folks are in for quite an experience. Uh, the genius, the hard work, the years of hard work that have made possible what you're about to see today is just amazing. I'm Tom Skilling. I'm a scientist. I work as uh, the chief meteorologist at WGN. the natural world to a manageable science and try and understand the basic forces that drive our weather and how uh, the weather patterns that are evolving will come from these basic forces. Uh, you know, when I first saw this, uh, the tornado, the four-story tornado machine stood out in my mind because only blocks from this building on South Ellis, on the University of Chicago campus, uh, a, a scientist of world-class stature, Dr. Ted Fujita, revolutionized our understanding of tornadoes. And one of the ways he did it was he created a tornado machine in the laboratory. Uh, he also went out and visited the aftermath of every tornado strike in the country, and he looked at these chaotic situations and he made sense out of chaos. That's what you do in the laboratory through observation. Uh, he revolutionized what we know about tornadoes. Well, you're going to get a chance to walk into and stand in the midst of the world's largest tornado. You're going to see a tsunami, lightning created, um, avalanches. Uh, it's stunning what you're going to see, fire and the convective currents that are produced from this. So I say to you, uh, have a wonderful time. Thank you for coming today. Thank you to the Science and Industry Museum for creating uh, the most amazing exhibit, uh, literally on the face of this planet, of this kind. There's nothing like it anywhere else. And you're going to have a chance to see it today. You know, uh, observation is the basis for understanding. And the question today is how science storms will change your understanding of our world.
Yeah, the one in the, in the museum there is basically the same as far as how it operates, but uh, I was taking a look at the one in the, um, oh, there's how uh, they have the laser sensor, so the info that's generated uh, in that machine is all computerized, so, I mean, this, this, what the difference with this, the inflow is more I mean, basic. Yeah, yeah, this is more pressurized at the top by an intake fan up here, whereas the machine in there has each separate inflow fan along the side. So, um, the two is right because they're how they connect their engineering department with their neurology department because they do a lot in the uh, design of tornado machines. And so does uh, Iowa State, and uh, those schools are in partnership with Oklahoma as far as. Uh, Is that what you want your focus to do? Engineering? Yeah. With, with what? And I want to work with uh, tornado machines and doing a lot of uh, designs. And, because it's so difficult already out there in the real world and intercepting tornadoes to measure them. So, what if we can approach starting them with tornado machines? All we have to do is better design them to you know, better simulate tornadoes in the real world. It's like an anti-system. Right, exactly. So, so there it is. So, um, you're going to leave it like this, right? You're going to well, take it. Like, I, I, it get, I guess. Um, well, what I'll do then is probably just detach this and then carry the bowl in there and store it that way. If well, it's I mean, okay to, to, to leave the water in there. Yeah, it's fine. No, just don't, you, know, you don't have to take it too much apart because it's a lot of work for yes. you. So, so in our words, it's fine. To as wait. basically as you can take it apart. As least as, as possible. And then okay. we'll just, we'll just put it well, yeah, it basically does come in this half. So. Did you bring that tape?